Today I'm out filming on the north side of Decatur County, Georgia. Uh, actually just a little bit west of Bainbridge. And this is a piece of equipment you don't see a whole lot running just about anywhere anymore. This is what they call a rutivator. See if I can zoom in on it. Or a rotivator. Basically, this is a mechanical root picker. I'm going to zoom out. This is a piece of property that's been cleared. Uh, it was uh, in forest up until about a year or so ago. And they have cleared it and turning it into row crop production. And they have come in and with bulldozers and excavators and removed all the stumps and tree stems, anything that was left, and piled them up and burned them. And then they follow that with this rotivator. Basically in the very front of this thing, just by the it's got um, some tines and a bar that runs up under. It's kind of like a root plow. It goes down about 12 inches and it uh, cuts anything that's in the soil but it's got uh, little tines on there that kind of cause any roots or any debris to ride up and this angled piece is going up here it's got a belt a uh, metal belting type material that actually sifts out any dirt and rocks or anything like that um, and elevates them up in this hopper on the back. Now they run this thing and I think it's about 10, 8 or 10 foot wide. They do make uh, some that are bigger. It's a different manufacturer. Um, that are wider. I think they're 12 foot wide. But they go back and forth across this uh, these fields that they're trying to uh, put it back into uh, crop production instead of tree production. And it saves a whole lot of manual labor. Uh, uh, some smaller places, uh, we see them, they'll hire a, a bunch of migrant labor with dump trucks or dump trailers and they come across and hand pick all these roots uh, and throw them on these trucks and trailers. Before they run this root uh, rutivator across the, the fields, they um, have a, a tractor with a chisel plow run through it and try to rip out any roots and loosen the soil up uh, for this thing to run. The looser the soil, the better it works. I don't think it would work too well in clay type soils. used to have contractors with these things that you'd see them all the time but this is the first one I've seen in about 10 years we're actually operating I'm not sure if you can see it across the field you can tell where he's already been where it's kind of smoothed and cleaned out but if you look back here you can see all the roots and debris that each, uh, that thing gets up and they'll run across these fields uh, sometimes two or three times before they will actually start growing crops in them because a lot of our equipment especially peanut combines and any other type of combine uh, some of the one of these roots goes through it it can do considerable damage 
It's kind of like uh, those guys out in the uh, Midwest fighting rocks in certain fields. It doesn't take a very big rock to do a lot of damage. I wish I could get an actual headshot of this uh, thing in operation, but I do not know the owners or the who owns this property. And I, without permission, I'm not going to do that. I've got a good reputation on YouTube and with the fellow farmers in this area for respecting their property rights, and I want to keep it that way. You can see it a little bit where he's at now. How that belting works. Now, hopefully I can he'll stay at that position for a little while. We can see maybe see some of the debris going up. In the front, it's got an agitator that kind of stirs that uh, soil up and kind of loosens it up to get those roots and stuff to go on up the uh, those tines, so it'll go on up on this belt. But you can see the roots and debris going up, and they'll get stored in that hopper. And at the end, when he gets back to the other end of this field, they've been dumping the uh, roots in piles. I wish I would have had my YouTube, uh, had been videoing for YouTube back about 10 years ago. Uh, they cleared a 280 acre field next door to uh, our farm. And they were running an international, uh, an old international 2 plus 2, pulling one of these root evaders. But it kind of works on a similar principle to the rock pickers, but it's just made for doing it with roots. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.